The NFL season is right around the corner, so you know what that means. It's time to talk some football. What is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk back at it with another video talking, of course, some NFL, like I mentioned, because we are approaching football season, and I told you guys once we would get closer to football season, I would increase the volume of my videos, and I'm going to do so just that okay so with that being said here to talk a little bears you guys see the title i'm gonna be talking about the bears and predicting their record this upcoming season giving you a full breakdown of their schedule as you see right behind me on the whiteboard so we're going to be getting to all that but before i do so as always if you are new to the channel welcome make sure to subscribe go ahead by clicking the subscribe button down below it helps me out a lot go ahead and turn on my post notifications to be notified uh, every time I post a video by clicking the bell icon and also follow me on my social media links down below and on the screen for that. So I don't want to waste any more time. I've got the whiteboard behind me. Y'all love these whiteboard videos. So I'm going to get started right now. So we know the Bears had a fantastic season last year. They went 12-4. and four. They won the division. They made the playoffs. They went 7-1 and one at home, 5-3 and three on the road. Everything went their way up until, of course, the playoff game against Philadelphia Eagles when Cody Parkey happened. But I don't want to talk about that. I digress. Let's talk about this upcoming season. And let's talk about the fact that the Bears go from having one of the softer schedules in the league to now having one of the tougher schedules in the league. And just how tough they're going to have uh, the fifth toughest schedule in the NFL this upcoming season. So they're tied for the fifth strongest schedule in terms of opponent strength and record as opposed to last year when they faced the second softest schedule in the NFL so that is something to keep in mind folks because that means it's going to be considerably harder for us to repeat the record we had last year in 12 and 4 not saying we can't do it just saying it's going to be that much harder and how hard let me just show you by looking at the uh you know teams here and I've laid down from weeks one through 17, of course, we've got the bye week included of how many teams we're going to face this year that made the playoffs last season. Okay, so the playoff teams are, of course, the good teams, right? So let's just go down and mark them up. And right here, we've got week seven against the Saints. That's a playoff team from last year. We've got week eight against the Chargers. That's a playoff team from last year. And then over here, we've got the Eagles, a playoff team from last year. Week 11 against the Rams. Um, week 14 against the Cowboys who won their division, week 16 against the Chiefs, right there. So that's one, two, three, six playoff teams from last year that the Bears are facing. But not only that, let's talk about the teams that won over 500, okay? So 500 or better. And the Minnesota Vikings, believe it or not, I know it feels like they had an awful season last year. They were 8, 7, and 1, okay? So the Vikings uh, were 500 or better. And let's mark them up. And then anyone else, let's see here. And that is pretty much it for the playoff teams and then the 500 or better. Uh, so you take that into account. That's eight out of our 16 games where we're facing either a playoff team from last year or a team that a record of 500 or better. So just to show you, this is the strength of schedule here. So with that being said, now let's talk about the actual games and break them down and see how the Bears, I believe, in my opinion, will fare this upcoming season. Okay, so let's start at the top here in week one, of course, against the Green Bay Packers at home. This is a rematch of week one last season. If you guys remember, we lost uh, against the Packers, out, but that was in Lambeau. We all know what happened there where Aaron Rodgers injures his knee and then comes back miraculously and then leaves the Packers to the victory over the Bears but this time I don't believe it happens I do believe with the um, you know home crowd there for the Bears and for the most part the Packers really t didn't improve much uh, I mean defensively they, they might have gotten a little bit better with the players that they drafted but you lost Randall Cobb you still have Devontae Adams you still have um, you know, Aaron Rodgers and not really much else to me. So to me, I still believe the Bears are the better team and I do believe at home they will find a way to get revenge and beat the Green Bay Packers in week one. So let's give that a dub 
for the Bears. Let's move on to week two against the Denver Broncos for the first road game, but I don't think it's going to be much of a problem for the Bears as they face a Broncos team that was awful last year. They got Joe Flacco this year to provide some stability at the quarterback position, but it's Joe Flacco. He's well past his prime. I don't believe the Broncos are a threat for the Bears, um, and I think the Bears will go in there. Their defense will dominate. I think we'll get a dub here because, like I said, the Broncos, to me, are not very good. Let's give that a win for the Bears. Week 3 against the Washington Redskins, who drafted quarterback Dwayne Haskins after Alex Smith, of course, went down. They also signed Case Keenum, but for the most part, this team is also very bad and they're not going to be very good this upcoming season the bears should have no problem beating a redskins offense that's going to be not that great their defense might be okay but for the most part the bears team is still going to be much better than the redskins and i do believe we will beat the redskins here as well they they lost jameson crowder a bunch of skill position players again not a very good redskins team let's move on to week four and we're going back home against the Minnesota Vikings. Now, here's the thing with the Vikings, folks. A lot of people are going to be sour on them. I don't believe the Vikings are going to be that bad. Last season, like I said, they were 8-7-1. and one. I do believe the Vikings will be good this season, okay? We beat them both times last year, okay? For some reason, I guess we have their number. But Kirk Cousins had 30 touchdowns and 10 interceptions. A lot of people are saying, hey, they made the playoffs with Case Keenum, and then they don't make the playoffs with Kirk Cousins. Folks, I don't believe Kirk Cousins was the problem. Like I said, statistically, he was fine. But I do believe at home we can beat the Minnesota Vikings. We've shown we can beat the Minnesota Vikings. So I do believe the Bears will win. And yes, that is four straight in a row for the Bears. Because like I said, this is the easy part of their schedule. Just wait until the end. Let's move on to week five. And this is the game against the Oakland Raiders. But this is is the London game, okay? This is the game in London, so let me highlight that because um, technically this is obviously not going to be played in Oakland. It's going to be played in London. And, of course, the Raiders went through a bunch of changes. We know that. Uh, Antonio Brown being the biggest acquisition for them, uh, but they also, you know, still have Derek Carr there. They did lose Jared Cook uh, to the Saints, uh, but for the most part, uh, they drafted a, a rookie running back, Josh Jacobs, and they're going to be a fun offense, okay? They'll be a fun, nice offense with Antonio Brown, Tyrell Williams. But for the most part, their defense is still going to be very bad. They were poor last season on, on the defensive end. And to me, like I said, I will bet my money on the Chicago Bears defense to be able to come through. Um, I am scared about this game because I do believe the offense for the Raiders is, is very potent now as opposed to last season. But I will still say that I think the Bears get the job done, though I'm not as confident here. Not because of the fact that, again, I think the Raiders are going to be very good this season, but they've got an element of surprise here where their offense could pop. We don't know, you know? So let's see. And then week six, go on the bye week, come back. Week seven, now now the games get tough. So again, predicting a 5-0 and start, which again, this is the easy part of the schedule. The Bears need to get those dubs, so it's not as unrealistic as it may seem. Week 7 and Week 8, okay? Here's what I'm going to do. We're pl playing the Saints. We're playing the Chargers. I don't need to talk about how good they are. Saints are very good. Drew Brees, Michael Thomas, you know the deal. They signed Jared Cook. Um, Alvin Kamara is still there. I mean, the Saints are a, an absolute juggernaut. And defensively, they're, they are improved as well. Chargers, they're stacked. Now, we don't know about Melvin Gordon. He said he might not play this season. But they still have Austin Eckler behind him. Um, you still have Phillip Rivers, you still have Keenan Allen, Chargers and be good. And defensively, Joy Bosa and them boys, they are good. Here's what I'm going to say. Bears take a loss here on one of these two teams. I will say that the Bears lose um, against the Saints and win against the Chargers. But they will take a loss here because, again, two very, very good teams. I don't believe the Bears will beat both of them. The good part is we're playing both of them at home. So that's why I feel like we'll win one and lose one. You can interchange it, but the Bears will for sure, I believe, lose one of those games and win the other one. So let's move on now to week nine against the Philadelphia Eagles, folks. And here's the thing, the team that knocked us out of the playoffs, and I don't even think they knocked us out in that, in that aspect. We shot ourselves in the foot, or Cody Parkey did the double doink. And we know what happened, okay? But the Eagles team, folks, they are going to be legit. Carson Wentz is back. 
Uh, their offense is going to be potent. Alshon Jeffrey still there. You already know how good they'll be. They also added Deshaun Jackson, so he's returning back to Philly. I think the Eagles are really good, and I'm really high on them. A lot of people are predicting Carson wants to have a MVP type season. I do think we lose this game, so I'm going to give that an L. Uh, let's talk about Week 10 against the Detroit Lions, and here's the thing. We swept the Lions last year. The Lions aren't much improved this year as well, and they actually lost Golden Tate to the Giants. They still have Matt Stafford. I like Kenny Galladay, but come on now. Lions fans, I'm sorry. This is a dub for the Bears. Week 11 against the Los Angeles Rams, who are coming off a Super Bowl loss. So, of course, the Rams, very good team. We did beat them last year, but that was at home. This is in L.A. I... I have a lot of respect for the Rams. Sean McVay, Jared Goff, uh, Todd Gurley, although we know Todd Gurley has had some issues with, with uh, you know, his knee and whatnot. Uh, but for the most part, I still do believe the Rams will be very good this season. So I'm going to say that the Bears do lose this game at, at the Los Angeles Rams. Okay, let's move on to Week 12 against the Giants. And Giants aren't going to be very good, folks. They lost Odell Beckham Jr. You got Eli Manning, but again, he's on his last legs. You stop Saquon Barkley. And you stop the Giants. Now, funny enough, we did lose to the Giants last year. One of our four losses was against the Giants, but that was because Mitch Trubisky was out, if you guys remember that. Uh, so we did not have Mitch in that game, and I believe we lost on a last-second field goal, if I can remember correctly. I think so. Don't quote me on that. But it was a very close game, and we lost uh, against the Giants. But I don't believe this happens, and we're at home against the Giants. That's a dub for the Bears. Week 13, again, at Detroit. Now, division games tend to be tough. I get it. Um, and division teams know you better than anyone else. But I just, I, I have no faith in the Lions at this point. I think we'll sweep them um, again. So, a dub for the Bears. Now comes the hardest part of our schedule, the last four weeks, okay? And let's talk about, of course, week 14, at home versus the Cowboys. Now, Dallas won their division, their uh, playoff team, okay? So we'll have Dad Prescott, Zeke Elliott, uh, and then Amari Cooper. So they will be very good. But being at home, I do believe Mitch and company will be able to uh, handle this game. If it was on the road, I would not feel very good about the Bears' chances. Uh, but the way the Cowboys play, I do believe uh, the Bears' run defense will be able to contain Zeke. And that's what you do. You contain Zeke, you contain the Cowboys. So I'm going to say this is a dub for the Bears. Week 15 against the Packers. Again, division games that those opponents know you better than anybody else. I do believe the Packers will get revenge just because, again, Aaron Rodgers can win you a game by himself at times, so you got to give it up to the Packers. Um, I do believe, at, and this is in Green Bay. Again, this is why I'm saying in Green Bay, um, I do believe the Packers will win this game. Um, you'll have one of those games where, again, even if you're the better team, you might lose this, to me, feels like one of those games. Week 16, you face the MVP, Patrick Mahomes, okay? Uh, this is at home, so I do feel good about that. But, man, Patrick Mahomes, if there's a quarterback out there outside of Tom Brady and, and Rodgers and Breeze that you're afraid of shredding you, it's Patrick Mahomes. So I'm going to say that the Bears lose this game. And, again, Week 17 at Minnesota. The Vikings might be in a playoff push here. This goes back to my division theory of division opponents. Unless the team is absolutely awful, like the Lions, division games tend to be very, very tough. And, you know, teams that you think are better can still lose division games. I'm going to say that the Vikings get revenge and beat us in the last game of the season. And, yes, I do believe the Bears end the season with three straight losses. I know that seems like a lot. But that is how I have it measured out. So you take that into account, and that gets the Bears to a record of, I believe, 10 and 6, if I can count right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yep, 10 and 6 for the Chicago Bears at their record. So again, not saying 12 and 4 is impossible. Again, I've got some games in here where the Bears can absolutely still win against the Vikings, against the Packers, and get that. All I'm saying is this year's schedule is a lot tougher and the Bears will have their work cut out for them. I hope, again, the Bears have a fantastic season and repeat last year. But to me, realistically, looking at the schedule and how everything pans out, um, I'm going to go with 10 and 6 as my prediction for the Bears. So let me know what you guys think. Where do you have the Bears record next season? 
Um, comment down below with the number that you guys have. I've got 10 and 6. And I've watched you guys through it. Who do you think the Bears lose to, win to? Let me know down below. As always, thanks for watching.